Two minutes past eight. Yeah, don't worry. It's taking even longer for them assholes to actually ready up. Still not meet up. Actually, they're still on track, so... Giraffes here. Got seventeen, just about what I expected. Discord is pinging like a goddamn grenade. What the hell do people want from me? Oh god, I forgot I was uploading that. Okay. thing I will say which is a bit of a plus is Max doesn't seem like a completely miserable bastard today so I'll take that as a plus looks like Tiger Woods has done a major car accident today oh god is he running away from his ex-wife again uh, just read team chat and that's actually uh, a true article it was posted like 11 minutes ago on TMC uh, oh my god there's so many messages that actually does look like the same time he was running away from his wife. Epis. What do you mean you both met last via the airlock? <laughs> oh, uh... That's an argument we've been having over Twitter because it's funny. Also, hello, <laughs> Mesa, you beautiful, balding bastard. How are you? Um, but no, we were having a bit of a uh, discussion, should we say. And they all invited me as the imposter over Twitter. So I just went, I hate you all, as I uh, flew out the airlock. So yeah, uh, TR Racy says, hi, hello, King. How are you doing, good sir? Gaming says, hello and welcome to the land of the living. Uh, uh, I didn't know we were in the land of the living. I thought this was the multiverse. Okay, I'm not even going to say uh, what term we just added. So I'm going to skate past that. Why OJ with his charges. DJ says, sup, yeah. Uh, I can't say that word. Well, DJ, how are you, you bellend? <laughs> FS. Be careful, you will be voted out the airlock next. <laughs> Mesa says, I've had this hairline since or six. Oh, you poor child. Oh, you poor child, I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> King says, no metal, this is hell. Lip is hell, where's the doom music? Crow says, oh, hi, Mesa. Well, just completely ignoring us. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Here we go, Gaming Lover says, hello, if it's you beautiful Belgian, yes, and hello, you beautiful Florida man. DJ says, oh, this is family friendly, alcohol got the best of me. Uh, I would say we're PG-13, 
We're not all the way there, but we're certainly not child friendly. <laughs> Uh, Epic says the ladies of metal don't make the bridge out more than Oh no, the dildo plane is flying towards me. Uh May sir, if that's the case then yeah. Uh um, yeah. break out some alcohol and I feel sorry for you. Send it says waves to everyone in chat. Oh, that's actually quite cute for sending usually is a bit of a moral. <laughs> says, wait, family friendly? I didn't give you permission to be family friendly. Uh, <laughs> we're not family friendly, Crow. I think you missed that memo. <laughs> Inferno says, hello all. Hello, Dave, you beautiful man. How are you? How's your thing here? Hot lapping while we're getting the main session started. <laughs> well, well, gaming, I hope you actually bought those alligators dinner first before you fuck them, because that sounds quite... Toothy. Effie says, insert Peggy 18. <laughs> I hate uh, that Crow last says, oh. corner. What do you mean? I hate most of the corners here. <laughs> Have you ever tried this track? Yes. I hate it. <laughs> and Fern says, happy. How about you chaps? Uh, well, we've been... Discussing some future projects, you know, keep an eye peeled in Furness. And we're sort of doing okay. We're sort of as stupid as usual. So, on the whole, good. How are, how are you? <laughs> yes, send it. We hate it. Even DJ hates it. Crow hate. Crow says Sebring is Jesus. Well, they did crucify Jesus, so I wouldn't say that's a good thing. Unless you want to crucify this chap, then I'm all for it. Send it, it's not amazing. But it is, but I do, will give you a pass, that is a cute emoji. So let me ask you two, how do you find Sebring? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I like it except for last bumper corner. Yeah, it's a good track. I quite like it, but that final corner can be a bit annoying, depending on the car. Gaming says he loves the chat simply because it's close to him. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so it's just doing donuts in the Audi. That's like me saying my favorite track in this game, Silverstone, because it's the only one I've visited. Okay. Race event or just like private track then? Got it. Scotty, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I zoomed out for a second. Well, we could tell. We could tell. Jesus, me and Hussein started zoning out at hour 15, not minute 15. Uh, <laughs> did you visit Silverstone in a private track day sort of event or an actual race event? Uh, uh, no, no, I got to go for the uh, 2018 Formula One Grand Prix. Oh, uh, <laughs> best experience of my life. Really want to go back. I uh, really want to go to another Grand Prix, to be honest. But uh, what you mean when seeing people was an actual thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before this whole Panny D. Uh, so waiting. Uh, had to have plans. Panny D to sounds race. like a Texan DJ. <laughs> Just think about it. Panny D sounds like a Texan <laughs> DJ. It's like on the stage out, oh, Panny D. You know. Oh God. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I do quote that from a Texan. I'm curious now, which Texan? Oh, and uh, another streamer by the name of Chilled Chaos. Oh, oh I know them. They're all right. Yeah. Uh, King says, so how is everyone doing today? Uh, we're just as stupid as usual, so we're on the whole good. How are you, King? Uh, Effie says, Seabring is brilliant, but I like Spa. I wonder why, if it's because it's closest to you. Does that make me a traitor then? Because my favourite track in this game is the Nürburgring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's also nah, a man. love or hate track as well. Oh, mm. I love the track simply because people hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DJ says, Y'all had to ask for Connor Speed 6 for Tour because we don't like it. 
Well, that's what you like, I suppose. And plus, well, CS6 is a good friend, so shush, DD, shush. <laughs> Epis says, sure, Scotty, go back to that for a real Formula 1 Grand Prix. I'm sure the president of Belgian Waffle Racing won't be jealous at all. Well, I'm sure the president of Belgian Waffle Racing did change his name to the Brussels Sprout, so that's going to be interesting. Crow uh, suckling at the teat of uh, the mighty Connor there. <laughs> In fact, it says, I went to Silverstone for an Australian owner's meet and watched Drift UK. Nice. Uh, DJ says, Nords is better than Spa, better than anything else. DJ, I could kiss you for that. Crow says, Nords is so over it. Crow, get in the bin. <laughs> well, the one track I've partly been enjoying, that I'm not sure it's in this game, is Tubuka or Tukuba. Sukuba, yeah, that, mm. that's a nice, neat little track. Like, that it's not the nice biggest track. track, but one reason I sort of enjoyed it a lot is because when I was in uh, Gran Turismo, I was doing a lot of online lobby drifting in that track. I could drift. never picture you drifting. It's just one of those things where it's like, you're fast, <laughs> you're slow. I can't picture you drifting. I mean, no, it depends. Not... <laughs> if you mean like drifting really well, no. If you mean drifting because he can't <laughs> control a car, then maybe yeah, I can start to see you there. Well, well keep Scotty in mind just, that Scotty just Grand Turismo 5 had, the bear trap. But, but keep in mind Grand Turismo 5 had completely different physics in the game. Thank you for the toaster, send it. Uh, let's see. T says, Metal, I can't picture you riding a bicycle. Uh, I don't ride a bicycle because I prefer, well, fossil fuels. So, yeah. The only time I'll properly ride a bicycle is if I'm running away from a dinosaur. That tells you how little <laughs> I would actually ride a bicycle. Uh, Effie says, DJ, I really like how it races on F1 2020, which is a big surprise because of how narrow it is for this generation of F1 cars. Oh, yeah, they're thick, boys. They're thick, thick, boys. But, uh, DJ, don't buy F1 2020 at this point because in a couple of months, 2021 will come out. Not unless you're getting it for 60, 70% off. <laughs> yeah, but still, by the time you've spent that 60 or 70% off, that is still the upgrade from the standard to the deluxe of the next game in a few months. Mm -hmm. Mind you, on the other hand, now that... Um... EA has sort of bought Codemasters. I actually might say buy F1 2020 because it might be the last good F1 game. Maybe. It depends. Um, I think if EA leave it to Codemasters and just sort of allow them to up their budget a bit, then it could be good. Yeah, but Scotty, do I need to uh, go through EA's history of buying companies and then killing them? <laughs> <laughs> the, well, uh... just have to wait and see. <laughs> Oh, look. You know, I really hope that they give Codemasters more control and let Codemasters do the racing games for EA rather than the other way around. Because if yeah. they did need the speed with the customization they already had, but Codemasters handle it, not grid. We don't talk about grid. Sorry, what, what game you know, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, if. Well, with the, the acquisition, Need for Speed and all of Codemasters games are now under all the same roof. So if EA kept the customization aspects that they have, which they did quite well, and they take the Codemasters handling engine, just as long as it isn't the grid one, we don't talk about grid, it could be a good revamp for the franchise, so they say. 
Yeah, certainly could. There's potential with it and thinking the other way. If EA sort of help Code Masters, because uh, some people are saying, oh, Code Masters sort of struggle with the online aspect. So if EA could help them a little bit there, then we could have some very good potential uh, for this year. That is true. Oh that my god. Very true. Uh, Metal Rage Chat. Uh, here we go. Wait, who am I looking for? Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> the human space program's here. Robin says, and quote, this is going to be great. I built my car approximately six minutes ago. I can confirm oh, Robin did say it in the Discord one minute past eight. And it was, clock was when this was meant to start. Oh, I'm going to go build my car now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Mind you, that's Robin for you. Uh, going <laughs> us back up, chat, while we were talking, a DJ says, ooh, that's a great tip. Uh, I'm going to wait for that. And he also says, time to go. Have a good one. Have a good one, DJ. I know you're probably not here anymore, but I hope you're still having a good one. Uh, T says, Metal Leona Playground's going to mess up Fable. Uh, you know my personal view on Playground's work ethic? It's 50-50. Uh, Crow says, I need to play the Fable games, TBH. Uh, Crow played the first two, the third one was trash. Uh, Effie says, Grid 2019 was such a disappointment, it got boring so fast. Effie, that was your issue with it? Not the completely donkey on jelly handling physics that they had? Uh, Robbie says, I forgot I had so little time tonight and was too lazy other days. Well, Robin... It's going to be interesting then. He says, so beware of an RS6 yeeting its way across the track while I learn how this car handles. Uh, Robin, I'll tell you instantly, poorly. Jubert says, my team is the best. Well, Jubert, first of all, learn English. I know you're English. I wouldn't say that to anyone usually, but I am saying it to you. Oh god, where's Jubit's car? I'm looking for a pink monstrosity. Actually, there's it quite ain't a few nice liveries. He ain't half bad for Jubit, so. Eh. Well, Jubit have. Uh, but keep in mind that the delivery Jubit is using is made by Typhoon. Oh yeah, that's why it's good. Have you seen Jubit's liveries? They make me want to cry! Not out of happiness before anyone says that. Uh, <laughs> King what says about the uh, McGrath tune? Because that's actually pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, McGrath going with the martini livery. No. Ooh, uh, Look on the uh, side. Uh, oh. oh <laughs> two of those points for that. <laughs> Now you see what I meant. <laughs> Kudos points for that. Uh, going back to chat quickly. Crow says, Fucking randoms in our party. Well, kick them out. And make it large. Says... <laughs> you would have uh, thought they would have learned from playing Wreckfest the other night. For those that don't know, the team sort of a Wreckfest night after MEC on Saturday. And they were complaining about randoms in their party on the next day. And here we are again. That is my fault, because whenever I appear online, about 40 people join after me. <laughs> and that is why, as much as people want me to, that's why I don't appear online. Qualifying getting underway. Whilst qualifying is getting underway, I will read out some interesting little spicy, dicey details from today's event. So, for those of you who don't know, this is round one of the Speed World Challenge race series. And, well, we're at Sebring. One of the most interesting tracks, should I say. <laughs> now, we have got safety car procedures for this, as always. In the event of a major collision involving three cars, 
or two if they block the track. So if a single person crashes out, for example, I'm sorry, Scotty, but like Scotty did in the Mini Enduro, there will be no safety car. If there is, however, all cars will reduce their speed to 60 to 70 and the lead car will act as the safety car. So, qualifying will be three laps in total. One just to get their bearings and then two flying laps. So, if they mess up the first one, they have a sort of good chance to put in the second good lap. Races will be roughly 35 to 40 minutes a piece with race two being the top 50% reversed. So for example, 16 drivers finish race one, the top eight reverse for grid two. The qualifying and races will have simulation damage with one mandatory pit stop in both races. Today, we are at Sebring. With race one, we have got looming clouds, drizzled and light rain, and then race two, will be moderate rain, light rain, and then summer drizzle. So, like it or not, our boys today, apart from Quali, are gonna get a little bit wet and damp, and that it sounded more sexual than I wanted to do, so I'm gonna skate past it really quickly. I also hope they're not getting wet and damp, because they're inside a car. I, <laughs> I hope exactly. they're not, the car's not leaking. And here we go, the- Scotty. <laughs> Scotty, they corner. are on track with Robin. If Robin came flying past me at the stuff he does on this game, I would pee myself. I would, I will happily admit that. My race seat will become a little puddle. Also, get you someone will probably smash their windscreen too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the pit window will be open for these races between lap 3 and 12. Both races will be 14 laps. There will be no virtual safety car from lap 11, so if you've been it, well, you sort of fucked. With how some of these cars act, especially the Porsche, it likes to lift a wheel or even two at times into the air. We could see some crashes through, throughout the field. Oh yeah, I think the interesting fact is that I think that isn't that the area where they not completely had their handlings underway or is it when they had it of this generation uh that generation of portion would happily kill you and laugh at you doing it unless you're johnny warner then he will say all portions are perfect and you're talking nonsense because or warner any portion <laughs> <Porsche's laughs> <been Anakin. laughs> <laughs> but one th one interesting thing that we'll say i'm looking out for these two races is the audis and the Porsches. Now the Audis have four-wheel drive, but the Porsches have the engine pressing down on those rear wheels for greater traction off the line, unlike the Mustang, the Corvette and the BMW. So I think even with the wayward handling of the Porsche, the wet weather will actually serve them half decently here today. Currently on our first flying lap as everyone is really pressing to get the times underway an inch perfect going back to chat quickly crow says we're currently having a drama when are we not uh if it says in my opinion grid 2 is still the better game currently playing on one series x slash s very true although autosport i do like as well if don't forget autosport If he's continuing saying, I'm curious where they got the Audi RS6 as a, from, as a race car. Well, if, it's, if you look at some early BTCC stuff, there were Audi saloons there, so go and check that out. It's a good watch. Uh, all Metal. the time is a bit... What? <laughs> go look at the Typhoon's livery. <laughs> I really like that, despite how clean it is. Oh god, where's Typhoon? Where, where's Typhoon? What the? Those? Yeah, I've not seen things, they are tentacles. Um, <laughs> I do approve, I really do approve. 
course you win. What does that mean, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it seems to be something that you'd like. You skated on thin ice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, I won't be here on Friday. Oh, I feel well, like you're over raising, won't you? Oh, oh Bren! Bren had to pull off to the side of the road as they hit the grass. And so has Phoenix. Well, Phoenix is Phoenix, so eh. Exactly, uh, but that's why I thought King... it looked pretty nice. Now, currently, the fastest flying lap is Google Smith at a 213.29. So that's uh, very interesting to say the least. Efficient saying, looks like he used the BMW M colors for those curvy stripes. F is the not curvy stripes, the tentacles! King says, yeah, bigger, remember one thing about the Mustang, it's designed to race. Yeah, well, you've got to remember, Mustangs have the turning ability of a dead donkey, so... Eh? Well, from this era, should I say, the modern Mustang's not too bad. That's because they're designed in Europe. What's, what I found interesting is how... Or is classifying the Corvette as a muscle car when it's actually a sports car? You gotta remember though, like the Corvette, the Mustang, you know, they're all American muscle icons. No, the Corvette has always been said to be a sports car by the manufacturer. It was never classified from the manufacturer as a sports car or a muscle car, it was people who were seeing due to the horsepower, it was a muscle car. Consider myself corrected. Uh, that is actually a strange thing, because when you think of Corvette, you always think muscle car. Oh, why? No, I don't. So, if you don't completely believe me, feel free to Google that. That is true. That is true. Uh, Robin says, I thought this was supposed to be a bad handling car. Robin, if you wanted a bad handling car, go for the Mustang. Uh, Galaxy Wolf says, curious as to why my car is being focused on in the corner. Blame Scotty, he's new here. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to show off the different cars and the qualifying. Yeah, you were one for the last to finish, and so I dropped it back, like it's someone who'd uh, gapped themselves out from the start of the field. Uh, but looking at the results, uh, Google Smurf takes pole position with the Tomat 13 dead, ahead of God Hydra, who is seven tenths behind. So uh, Google's looking strong, Send it only down in third, which is a little disappointing for him. But hold but on, he's, uh, hold on there. <laughs> he said he was gotten 12s, had he not getting off the track limit too far in first corner. Oh yeah, it's very easy to shut that turn one just on the inside. That white line, ever so deceiving, um, thinking you can get up to close to the wall, but the white line says no. Uh, but he, he'll start in third with the Tomat 13.9. And then I believe it is Crow in fourth with the Tomat 14 dead. Crow's actually doing half decent, which is Quite nice to see, because Crow's had a bit of a slump lately, so it's nice to see a return to form. I mean, I'm not surprised when he says Prague's his favourite track earlier. Prague is a good track, but it sort of depends how much you're willing to lean with the corner cutting, especially with that hard chicane going through the city. I don't think track limits are worth mentioning for that track. Well, we know how Scotty feels, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> I did one point out, uh, just in the difference between Hubert and Apollo, uh, don't know where on the grid, but it'll be towards the back. Uh, both of them doing a 219.029 uh, for Apollo and 0 0.0031 for Hubert, just two thousands between the two of them. That was crazy close. Crow mentioning in chat, goddamn Hydra starting second, what is this? 
Uh, crow, it's called They're Faster Than You. It it's, shouldn't be news. If it says, here is why Prague is terrible. It's a city street track. Case closed. Let's get drunk. First of all, Ephesus, I don't get drunk. Second of all, well, most racers would agree, Long Beach is worse to drive on. However, it's great to watch. And if you're going for purely worse track, Spa can get a bit boring, but I'm saying that just to annoy you. <laughs> Uh, not all uh, city street tracks are boring. They, they provide a different challenge, you know, no runoff, you've got the walls right there. I, I'm actually quite a bit of a fan of Long Beach, Robin, uh, but Prague Robin is saying, certainly not a good example. Robin said, I qualified 10th in a car I've never driven. Well, Robin, hopefully you might actually do good here for once. Uh, <laughs> Crow, we didn't realise you were joking because everything you say is so abstract, we can't tell when you're joking. Jack says, I don't get drunk. Hello, Jack, our wonderful saviour and lord of FTC. How are you, good sir? Send it replying, saying, Metal Crow is a fast boy. Crow should have been starting in first in quali. Well, send it. You really don't know Crow, do you? <laughs> Crow says, send it. You give me too much praise. That's the thing, people don't give you enough praise for your event design, but they give you way too much for your driving. I'm sorry, Crow, but they do. Inferno says, don't blow smoke up jacks. Well, if you blow smoke up jacks, he makes pretty shapes when it comes out the other end. That sounded way too strange, I apologize. <laughs> And even send it saying he's surprised by Robin's pace. Let's have a look at the monstrosity that Robin's drive. Oh, Lord, it had to be pink. Is it a Hello Kitty edition or is it just regular pink? I think you just slapped on the main requirements and chose a color from the looks of it. I, I was going to say, Matthew, everything he does is either Hello Kitty or pink. So uh. Yeah, considering he built the car after the event was meant to start... Uh, I'm not expecting anything else on that car. <laughs> Welcome to chat, Forza Comp GG. For those of you who don't know, Forza Comp GG is one of our partners here at FTC. They're an amazing, amazing entity to work with. And for those of you who don't know, go and check them out on Twitter and wherever else you can find them because they will keep you up to date on what's hot and what's not in the world of Forza Competitive League Racing. So go and follow them. And nice to see you here, Forza Comp. GG, how are you? Are you still freezing? Genji saying, ah, I, I couldn't be bothered with Quali because the vet is so far off the pace in the wet. I told you, front engine, rear wheel drive, the Porsches are going to come strong. Crow says... Pink. Uh, Robin says, not not a Blaine Crow Kitty livery yet. Oh, God, it's called Blaine Crow Kitty, not Hello Kitty. That's the more, you know. Cursed. <laughs> First comp saying, nope, GG. It's above zero today. Well, it's nice that it's above zero rather than below zero. Thank you. It actually, last week it actually was warmer in Moscow than it was in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Robin says, you shouldn't be worried. It's going to be not a bad, too bad delivery. Well, Robin, we'll see. Because your deliveries are either really good or really slow. Uh, Genji says it's a second slower in the wet compared to everything else, so it's a bust for me. Well, Genji, half the people here are either new or slower than you, so stop complaining and start driving. And there's uh, no drop round for the series, if I remember correctly, so just make the best you can with this round and hope to make up whatever you can in the following rounds. Mind you, for some of the people here in chat, which I have not seen actually before, it's actually nice to see new people in chat. Can you explain to them what a drop round is for those people who don't really know what a drop round is? 
A drop round is the championship standings, uh, your points totals, of course, made from where you finish in all of the rounds. However, a drop round is your lowest scoring round, and that's removed from your final point standings. So this is usually done so if people end up missing a round, they'd have zero points taken away from them, whereas someone who didn't make, uh, make all the rounds would have a not so good round uh, that they had taken away from them. So it just makes it a little bit fair and uh, not too harsh if you've missed a round. Uh, for example, Ren missed a round in MEC and he's trailing the top of the uh, field by 30 points in the standings. Um, so he's going to really struggle, whereas if there was a drop round in that series, everyone would lose about 40 points and he would be right up there with the people at the top. Uh, but we're not running a drop round in this. Uh, so um, you got to do your best in every round and uh, missing a race or having a really bad round is going to cost you. Uh, the drop round, I think, is more about depending on who's running the series idea and if they want it to be a drop round series or not. Hmm. King says Ford and Chevy are both heavy in the rear, but they do have torque Ford and Chevy, both heavy at the rear, but they do have torque. Well, King, if you wouldn't say it twice, you know, just eh. Genji saying, I'll try for the rounds because Vet is quick as everywhere else, just miles off here. Well, that's what makes it interesting, Genji. So, fight for your lead, my friend. Effa says, oh, is it a new thing? Well, Haseo answered that for you. Crow says, I'm waiting for LR so I can travel to space in the, in the port. Oh, no. Oh, God, Crow. What do you have planned, you evil man? Ever says, Robin, the world will end if you end up fifth. Is that easy? Christ, let Robin win. <laughs> Hoopercar in chat saying, hi, Benny Hill. Hi, Andy May. Boy, it's nice to see you here. How are you, my good friend? Bro says, wheelies. Robin saying, I used to get fifth place regularly in the racing trucks. That's because no one likes the racing trucks. And it's good to hear you're okay, Hooper. Nice to actually see you here as well. <laughs> Ephis, if you try and throw me out the airlock one more time in Among Us, I swear I will get Haseo to camp on cams and ruin you every single round. Hooper's saying just making some adjustments to the sponge vesta. What the hell's the sponge vesta? Yeah, the porches are light in the front, but you can sort of cope with that with some very aggressive braking to shift the weight forward. If it says, Hesero can't ruin me if I'm not the imposter. Yes, he can. He can say things to make you look shifty and then get you booted out. End. Is there any other yeah. series of being binge-watching, Hooper? Maybe you've been binge-watching more series. What's going to happen, Metal, is you're going to play with some of the new uh, modded roles and on your one imposter game for a night, uh, the sheriff or officer is going to come and just kill you uh, after 10 seconds. I already know that, Scotty. And plus, Haseo could actually say this. Me and Haseo were in a round, full lobby, where everyone put your fingers in everyone and the poor imposter, who wasn't imposter for that entire night for a good three hours, and they got impressed the first time, they didn't even manage to kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to go back to spectate. T, don't make me convince everyone to blow you out the airlock again, because it's funny. Uh, in front of saying tech issues, yeah, well, they're far and wide at the moment.
Robert says, I think we're ahead of schedule because we're taking our time starting this race. Robin, you really don't know us, do you? You really don't. Crow says, and we start before we even started. That, actually, that is a new record. Uh, Hooper, yes, send me a photo. Genji says, attempt 1.5. Robin with, all I heard is someone calling himself incompetent. So I'd say it's getting pretty well. Well, we'll go and see, haven't we? So, Scotty, for your, I believe, second time in the commentary booth, how does it feel, my friend? It feels nice to be sat here, relaxed, no wheel buzzing, um, no worrying about which curb's going to kill me today. <laughs> <laughs> it's... And I'm ready to watch some uh, action instead of being um, worried about uh, messing up in a bunch of... a pack of five cars. That's nice. From my side, at least, it's actually nice to talk to you when I haven't been awake for 20 plus hours already. <laughs> <laughs> so, chat, for those of you who aren't either racing or doing stuff like that, what do you think of Scotty so far? Do you like him? Do you enjoy him? Tell us what you think of Scotty. Only, only nice things, though. Otherwise, you get yeeted from chat. <laughs> you don't have to lie, like Metal says. You can be honest. I'm not asking them to lie. I'm just heavily yeah, influencing what they say. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Race one of the SWC. Are you ready for the obligatory words, boys? Yes. Oh, yeah, Scotty, you might want to turn it down for this. Lights out and away we go here at Sebring International Raceway. Everyone's looking very strong with Sendy in the middle of a big pack at the moment. Google God Hydra and I believe that is Crow already up in third place. Very well done to you, Crow. Let's get some play angles. God Hydra and Crow go oh. seven. Wow! Hydra's rear end snapping of that Porsche, the suicidal tendencies of that machine already coming out to play. As they're going three wide of God Hydra, Crow, and send it. Who's going to get the better breaking point? I think we're point? having a restart. Yeah, well... Oh, damn it, that was so good! <laughs> Trying to fit 19 cars through the technical first sector of Sebring. Uh, I think you... Oh, we got to send it to... Send it on the roof. Here we go. Let's go back to chat quickly. First place, Dan says, I like how he binned it MEC in MEC True Legend. Uh, well, Sky didn't exactly bin it. He just crawled heavily back to the pits with three broken legs. I binned it. <laughs> <laughs> the annoying thing is, so, um, you missed on the previous Ferrari challenge race uh, when we were taking our mandatory pit stop and as I was coming into the pits I pretty much did the exact same thing. Oh I just God. got lucky because that was uh, got me into the pits. Oh crow saying I was having a three-way battle for second place. Sad Eeyore face. Oh, Robert says, I was doing... oh my god. Also my game crashed. I, I know this. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll send you an invite. I already got him. Thank you. Well, that didn't sound kidnappery at all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did you say that, Metal? He does Scotty, it! Scotty! Not... Scotty! He does it all the time! Get used to it! <laughs> Scotty, I say a lot of us. The only reason I was so well behaved last time you heard me was A, Tora, and B, Johnny. So, yeah. yeah sleep deprivation. <laughs> Actually, yeah, sleep deprivation does mellow me out dramatically. However, Scotty, this is the full fat version of me, fully hyped up and not drained at all, so enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed to take 30 days off your life at two hours at a time. 
Uh, take 57. And thank you for that follow there, Bellerin Flow. Thank you for the follow, virtual hugs and kisses, because we can't do it normally. Ready for the obligatory words again, boys? Let's go. Lights out and away we go once again at Sebring International Raceway. Google looking very strong off the start, but has God, Hydra and Crow firmly behind them. The three Porsches looking immensely strong today. Coming up to the second corner, let's see who will actually get a better entry. Crow looking twitchy, God Hydra going slidey as the rear of that Porsche so drastically wants to step out of line because this is the generation that wanted to kill you. Google already having a slight lead, so let's drop back to second place of God Hydra, who's going to have a lunge attack from Crow. And he's doing their best not to go into the back of Google while getting as close as they possibly can. Going to drop back now to send it where there looks like a bit of a commotion. Send it. Not being able to catch up, being as cautious this time. Trying to not have a uh, incident, should we say. He's being chased by Aaron McGrath. So out of the top five cars so far, one is not a Porsche. That uh, sort of tells you how this is going so far. The top three, though, are getting glued together as Google is now under immense pressure from God Hydra and Crow. Google having to be breaking with the brakes here because one bit of overly cautious braking and God Hydra is going to slip right on past like a slippery banana down a hot dog pipe. Thing of uh, banana. I just will mention the start that uh, Ganges had from the back of the field. He's already up into P8, keeping his nose clean and just making positions up wherever he can. Every corner he's been going for a pass, and it's so it's been a really good start from him. Very good start from Genji. Don't know what the man was complaining about. <laughs> well, the rain is yet to fall. Uh, we'll get a bit of a drizzle by a third of the way through the race. And I'll turn into just a little bit more of a light rain uh, two thirds of the way through the race. So he's, if he's going to make any points this round, it's going to be in this first race. After lap one, the standings currently are Google in first, God Hydra in second, and Crow in third. All three, all Porsches in the top three. Well, any you of these see drivers, send it as well. They're uh, chasing send down. It. Send, send it is Crow. closing in. But the, the rear weight of that Porsche is helping immensely here. Also, also, it's interesting to note that the Mustang is technically the lowest classed vehicle here. Yeah, Renz just made a, a double overtake uh, through turn ones and two uh, past Typhoon and Galaxy to get up into P9. Uh, but he's giving up uh, both of the positions, I think. He's Galaxy, to break she's looking strong. Typhoon's there, Robin's there, and Sergio Ren is in a cluster of cars right now. Not just, and he's like in the cluster of Beam Ren's World been held up and... By Typhoon. And Robin's managed to get the power of them and get himself into the top 10 now. Oh, here comes AL Ghost, a new contender for the FTC name here. Brand new. Nice to see them here. Let's see if they can actually shake some waves down the lower of the pack, because they've gone with the Corvette. We're not going to see their full potential here today, but as the series progresses, we certainly hope to see good things from this new driver as they overtake Galaxy. Galaxy, she is looking... Quite slow on the streets, but that four-wheel drive will certainly help her in the corners. As Ren is looking for an overtake on Typhoon, BMW on BMW, and they make the move stick just beforehand. Ren is up to 10th place, overtaking Typhoon. I think in the last corner, I wonder if the Audi is the most stable due to the four-wheel drive system. The Audi drive. is stable, but the problem is it's heavy. 
it's very, very heavy. Yes, uh, but that's Genji what I'm saying. It... Making an overtake. Genji making an overtake on GTA Giraffe up to seventh place now. Very good work from Genji. Or should I say Banana. Send it sniffing all over the rear of Crow. Putting immense pressure on him. But mind you, Google and Hydra are not exactly running away. Crow getting a little bit of a twitch on the rear of that Porsche as now Sender is in full hunt mode. One good lunge and Sender could have Crow here. So we'll have to see if Sender's going to be brave on the brakes or be reserved for somewhere else. Oh, he's Sender's looking inside. on the inside of the touch. But Sender loses ground once again. Crow remains in third for now. We are currently on lap three. The pit window is open now. Let's see. Crow is starting to pull a tiny bit away from Send It. Send It looking very confident trying to catch up to Crow again. But that Mustang. It's just too much of a wild card to actually be dependable on. Just mean the fact of getting the corners and right you... and getting the correct time to attack for a lunge. Like it's still early in the race, is buy your time and don't mess up. Like just cling on. Mind you, out of the five cars on selection, which car would you actually select to drive if you were racing in this series? That's a tough one. Yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. I don't think it'd be the Porsche because I drove that for uh, our photo shoot, um, and it it wasn't the nicest to drive. But then maybe I would select it. Uh, meanwhile, Send it dives into the pit lane, uh, going for an early stop to try and uh, undercut uh, the leaders. We'll see if that think works. That will, I don't think that will work for him because Send it. Yes. Already in the pit. Oh, Phoenix is in the pit as well, looking for an early stop. But the problem is, it is such a long pack of cars this time that Sender is going to come out in such dirty traffic that's mm. only going to hold him up. Uh, that's he's coming over the pit lane now. He slots just ahead oh, of Infernus and in a 15. collision between Infernus and I believe that was Apollo. As Apollo was coming out of the pits, Infernus was squeezed against the wall, having nowhere else to go. Yeah, Sendik going out just ahead of that battle. Uh, he's not got a lot of clean air ahead of him. He's, uh, he's got Reed Turtle just one and a half seconds ahead of him. Uh, but from there on, he's going to be met with cars after car. That's really going to hinder his progress uh, to try and get ahead of Crew in this uh, undercut. Going higher up the field now, Aaron McGrath is under pressure from FTC Banana, formerly known as the artist, as Genji, as they are currently sitting in fifth place, but take into account the two pits, Genji's still, theoretically, in seventh place. So even though they are struggling immensely in that Corvette, they're still going to get a decent chunk of points here. Today. Here comes the rain. Yes, the rain is kicking in now. They're all getting wet, slippery, and down and from some oh, little not slide no engine. On oh, and there. Genji's going on the inside of McGrath. Oh, so going down the back straight. Let's see. Maybe we should use the correct uh, game oh, as well, metal. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, we've got a DNF in Unix as DNF, and uh, Galaxy's uh, find herself off the track at. Uh, some point towards the end of the second sector, I believe. Banana has made the move on Aaron McGrath as they're approaching the start finish straight. There's another little uh, thing on the side though, what the livery is. Aaron McGrath's livery is... No, I'm huge. talking about Banana's livery. Oh, let's see what's Banana's livery. Haven't seen what the spicy little banana has. Uh, Have we heard about the, the team name for Banana? Well, I see a 
Death Pikachu, which I actually quite like. Uh, a Joker laughing his head off. What the hell is their team name? Medal's Nightmare. My nightmare is a giant fluffy unicorn land where I can't swear or curse. That's my <laughs> true nightmare. I'm not if kidding. If you want to see my true nightmare, look at, look at, not Jubits, uh, Robin's car. That is my proper nightmare where I can't swear and I can't do dirty things. That is my true nightmare. Either that or being locked in a church. Because I have been called evil five times by different priests now. It's not funny anymore. Meanwhile, uh, Ghost has gone wide at the end of the, uh, sort of mid, straight at the end of the first sector. That's like Typhoon to get up there inside, and they're going side oh. by side now. And Crozier's taking a move on Hydra, getting second place. What a beautiful move <laughs> from our in-house pigeon! And he's not just overtaking him, he's actually looking to eke out a little bit of a lead here. But it's still yeah, in the second when Google Smurf still in the lead. Google Smurf mm. is in the lead and starting to pull out a little bit of distance now, which must be relieving for the driver. But Crow is actually defending his podium spot well here. I'm very impressed. They're actually the Porsche are quite dominating here, I have to say. The Porsches are dominating. But again, it's what I said. Those rear tires, rear wheel drive, with the engine hanging over the rear like an elephant off the end of a shipping boat. It's going to give good grip in these type of conditions. Still, it's very over snappy if you get it wrong. Oh yeah, it will snap and kill you. But if you're gentle with it, it will treat you right. Ooh, good life lesson, kids, if you want to be get be an order on Algos as well. It didn't go too easy for him. No, we sent it getting on back of Ghost, um, who got passed by a Typhoon uh, halfway through the previous lap, and then got connected with Robin, so he lost another position. Uh, but send it trying to make his way through the field, uh, see if he can make that undercut work, but not certainly not looking likely with this traffic. Send, send it is just going to tuck in behind AL Ghost until. The huge braking lunge, which Send It loves to does do. Oh, he could just prove me wrong and go side by side already. Ghost and get a great exit off the corner down the straight, uh, but Send It doesn't have the straight line speed. But of course, he There's sends the under lunge. the brakes. There's the lunge, sticking true to his name, and he sends it into the corner and makes the move stick. Send It Media is up to ninth place. And Chris starting to make a distance on God Hydra after finally getting past. It'll be interesting when we see more people starting to pit where they come out and where they are after a pit stop. See, this is even nice to see. There's battles all the way down the grid. Uh, currently watching in 14th on board with Phoenix, who's trying to hold off Root Turtle. Phoenix enjoying that four-wheel driving and helping him through the corners. Infernus overtakes Agile Apollo for 16th place. Uh, meanwhile, Send It made a move on Robin. He had got the position, but ran a little bit wide coming onto the back straight, and Robin's got uh, back past as they're heading towards this bumpy final corner. Send It looking for a move to get back past, but Robin just parking his car right on the racing line. I he's drifted out a little bit wide of the apex, and yeah, Send It just slipped on the through on the inside. Sorry to interrupt, there's a four-way battle happening on the final corner between Sergio, Jubert, Giraffe, and Phoenix. Sergio diving into the pits, avoiding this fatal four-way, turning it into a three-way. As they're approaching the first corner, Jubit under immense pressure from Giraffe, who we have seen in the past in Torre, very fast driver, and Phoenix looking to eke out a bit of draft and pull them a bit closer to the pair. 
Giraffe looking on the inside, trying to get the move. Will they, though? Going side by side, Giraffe has now got the superior line, forcing Jupiter, clipping a little bit of the grass. Giraffe has made the move up to 10th place, but now Jubert is going side by side with Phoenix. BMW versus Audi, who's going to be braver on the brakes? Ooh, and good like morning, Rue. Good morning, Rue. How are you, you wonderful human being? Phoenix is braver on that corner, making the move stick. Jubert drops down to 12th place now. Banana is currently in fourth place. They have climbed a hell of a lot of places. Giraffe is now having a battle with Phoenix as Phoenix is making to look a move, but doesn't have enough gap and is now under pressure again from Juba. These three drivers are not giving each other any space. Giraffe is slowly starting to eke out a bit of a lead, but that doesn't stop the fight between Phoenix and Jubert. Let's see, Phoenix gets a much better entry and exit out of that corner, while Jubert twitches a little and drops back out of usable drift and draft distance. Uh, meanwhile, God Hydra's in the pit lane. Let's see where he comes out in relative to send it. He has a little bit of a gap of about one and a half seconds, but his tires are going to be cold for the remainder of this first sector. Can send it close up anymore and maybe think about making a move. The Porsches actually have astonishing fuel economy because judging by google smurfs telemetry who would have enough fuel and tires to actually go to the end of this race without a pit stop but obviously there's one mandatory stop for everyone rue saying mel must be thinking of a different rue no i'm thinking of you my friend Robin, if your hand's going numb more and more each lap, that is not good. You should look into that. So just thinking about where Sendik came out relative to God Hydra, He's not looking too bad to maybe uh, potentially get Crew as he when Crew makes his pit stop. Uh, but meanwhile, just watching Phoenix, he's run a little bit wide following Drive. And that allows Jubert to immediately catch up to him and get that usable draft once again. That's the problem with the Audi, it's so... Oh, and both drivers almost clipping the tyre wall <laughs> as they run amazingly wide. I believe we've just seen the transition from a, a drizzle to some uh, light rain, so drivers go, are actually going to feel more of an effect from the rain, and you know, we could as see both of them it. nearly running into the tyre wall. As we can see, the track is completely damped down right now. Uh, Send it is slowly gaining on God Hydra in fifth. We are almost two thirds of the way through. We have only had one DNF so far of GTA Unix. So we'll have to see how that goes for the rest of the drivers. Hopefully, no other DNFs for the rest of the night. Today, uh, Ru, we have me, Metalgate, and we got Scotty. And yes, you. we are a nice little threesome here in the booth today. Uh, meanwhile, Robin's Robin's just uh, made his pit stop and he came out behind Iron, but Iron made a mistake in the first sector, uh, oh. struggling to adapt to the uh, rain that's coming down now. I think Sanded uh, 
completely made the braking zone due to the rain right now. Oh, Sender completely missed it. I think we also had a part of uh, the view, like the camera curse right now. Be watching over him as the rain was starting in. When do we not have the camera curse? Ren, though, in sixth place, is currently under attack by Aaron McGrath, who's looking to overtake. With Giraffe not far behind, so Aaron McGrath is currently in a BMW M performance sandwich. Yes, Epis, where's the facts? Yes, we need our facts. Also, Scotty, this will be your first Belgian waffle sponsored facts of the day. <laughs> So let's see here. Aaron McGrath is keeping regular distance from Ren, not catching but not Ooh. losing. Ooh. Is that Sergio who did Yeah, that is Sergio who's just uh, took a trip mm. through the grass. I think it's because driver or cousin do dragon a dry tarmac to suddenly being a complete wet tarmac. And that Another massively affects your uh, braking zone. Sergio is looking twitchy. It seems like Aaron Grant is not feeling too comfortable in the rain in the portrait behind Bren. <laughs> and Rosa says, uh, Trio sounds wrong, but let's shoot go with Trio. Ru, you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm PG-13. So, for those of you who do know what it is, you find it funny, and if you don't know what it is, you have no problem hearing it, so... <laughs> Viewer's discretion, per se. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Ephes with our BWR Fun Facts of the Day. In the recent UK update for Microsoft Flight Sim 10, they missed one small but important landmark in London. Where is my HMS at Belfast on the River Thames? <laughs> oh my god! I swear, Everett has more facts about boats and planes than he does cars. <laughs> Let's see if anyone is close to one another here. Everyone's sort of uh, spread out as they're adapting to the rain. Uh, or Crow if yet to looking... make their final pit stop. Uh, Crow Crow's currently passing Galaxy. a back marker uh, into the uh, final corner. Yeah, Galaxy, she moved wide to let over Crow. Good sportsmanship there. Crow mm, well, currently trailing uh, Google Smurf by uh, six and a half seconds. And Banana and has is a starting... twenty eight second. Oh, Banana's gap under immense pressure from Hydra. Ren and McGrath for fifth place. Ren is currently in... riding on a bumper right now with Banana as he's going into the final hairpin. It can be quite tricky. Especially in she the had a rain. really good start to the race when it was dry, but now she's starting to struggle as she uh, predicted in these uh, wet conditions. Banana is under immense pressure now from Ren. But she's definitely trying to hold on despite uh, being in the disadvantage in the rain. She certainly is. That Corvette does have better straight line, but through the corners, especially now that it's as wet as it is, you see the crocs coming out in the Corvette. That's an interesting like fact, Ephes. Ephes said, all right, all right. You want a car-related fact? I got you covered. The Fraser Nash in the Hot Wheels DLC had a decal change in the game. They removed the Nash hole sticker to keep it family friendly. Oh. And then we got King Air saying, Mendel, why do you hate leprechauns? 
Because they won't give me their gold. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> or what's your opinion, uh, Scotty? Uh, this reminds me of uh, seeing a rainbow the other day. As as like an eye, there's a lovely sunset. Oh, and, and Randy's going side by side with Banana. Try to forget the moon on the inside. But Banana has yeah, he really threw up the inside. Yeah, Ren only. There... Just Mike got half of his car up the inside. You say, no one our look, Scotty is a leprechaun and he just won't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> and seems like Banana fell under the pressure and messed up the next corner. Like Rand the Bat and now under the pressure from Amagrat. The Corvette does have the straight line speed though. But Ren moving on to the right side to cover the inside for the next corner. As you can tell how much speed Corvette has. Oh, Crow currently leading, but the issue is he hasn't pitted yet. Crow will have to come in this lap. Mm -hmm. He's extended the gap uh, to God Hydra from 28 and a half seconds to just over 29 seconds in the last lap. But I'm not sure what they're overtaking the pits. So Google, unless they have an issue, are looking strong here for a victory in race yeah. one. He was about uh, six and a half, seven seconds behind Google, so using that, he should come out uh, in a nice and clear second place. King saying, Scotty, beam me up thing, metal being weird. When am I not weird? I think Haseo would be more creeped out if I acted normal. <laughs> <laughs> then we'd know something's wrong. I think if we acted more or less normal normal we were like are you guys high or something oh a banana tried to keep on the inside but messed up the brake zone and just goes wide and looting up both positions a very ambitious dive there uh, i think she would have been better off just trying to hold off on the one position she said she'd struggle in these wet conditions so i don't see why she went for that move when you know, she can just take whatever she can get. Oh, I'm clipping the grass as well. I'm currently on board with Crow, because I want to see where Crow gets spat back out into the field, because we know that Google will overtake. But the question is, will send it? Because this is a notoriously long pit wall here at Sebring. Uh, speaking of, Sendit's uh, recently got past uh, God Hydra and it's built out uh, just over a second gap to him. So it's not uh, God Hydra uh, Crow needs to be worried about, it's Sendit. As he comes into the final corner, Crow just leaving his pit box uh, from the pit lane. This is gonna be tight. This is where Sendit's early pit that was either hit or miss. Uh, I think comes Crow out skins ahead. Oh, it was definitely yeah, a miss for second place. With Crow, I think it was due to all the back traffic. Send it had to battle his way through. Send it did have a lot of traffic traffic to battle through. But if you look back down once again to fifth place, Ren and McGrath are going wheel to wheel with one another. M Sport versus the best that Germany can produce a Porsche. Aaron McGrath looking a bit twitchy with the rear of that Porsche as Ren has a little bit of understeer from the BMW. And Robin is more or less staying in 10th place, but he's under pressure from Typhoon right now. King saying, so Metal, right now we're watching you guys on the big TV, all 50 of us. King is, right now is making, making popcorn. Shouldn't King be working? You know, because it is working hours, unless I'm mistaken. What do you mean with that comment about Scott being the third firm company that is a NASCAR company group is an F1 group? Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, FS, we're neither. We're esports. We can have as many commentators as we like. We won't have as many as we like, because that will be a cluster F. But... 
you know. But Ooh, ethics, if you want to get around. Just hit the curve at the wrong angle, and losing a lot of speed to Ren. But ethics, I will say this now for bigger events, keep your eyes and ears peeled as we may call on you in the future. So. Keep checking those DMs in the future, my friend. And Ren is trying to cl or Robin, I mean, is trying to cling on the tenth place as he's being attacked by Typhoon. Meanwhile, Giggles just started the final lap now, and uh, Robin got past uh, Typhoon. Uh, down the back straight. No, Typhoon's been chasing uh, Robin. It's a matter of can Robin hold out and hold out the ten. Oh, sorry, I was looking at wrong name. Robin! Oh, Robin's in chat. Robin! 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 <laughs> Correct myself, it was Banana passing uh, Draft down the back straight, and uh, she's just a little bit wide in turn one, two wheels on the grass. Draft is sending it down the inside for turn two. Draft holds around outside, but it's once again on the grass. Just the leaves going... it room for Draft. The phone's trying to go outside in turn one. Seems like he had a better line than Robin, but Robin got a tighter line. And so it is more or less but Robin scrubbed off a lot of speed there. Oh, it's time for it goes way too deep into the braking, bringing Robin back into contention. Get in there, Robin. Hold on to 10th place. It's the last lap. No, Typhoon, come on. <laughs> Commentators battle about who is going to get 10th. <laughs> I'm going to stay with Robin for this entirety. Come on, Robin, get 10th place. No, Typhoon, come on, don't take Robin. <laughs> There we go! Come on, Typhoon! There we go! Oh, and the Typhoon! Go, get! Come on, Robin! Come on, Robin! Yes, They're side by side, door to door! Oh, Typhoon losing a little bit there. Come on, Typhoon, you can do this! Come on, Robin! So by the power of Hello Kitty, please! Come on, Robin! Take place is yours! Meanwhile, Google Smurf comes out of the final corner to take the win ahead of Crow and Sandit, rounding off the podium. Come on, Robin. Robin, you've got half a lap left. Hold off, Typhoon. Oh! Robin! Oh! Oh, no! no! Robin, pulling shenanigans! Stop pulling shenanigans! Come on, Typhoon, you can do this! Come on, Robin! You have a half full of honors! <laughs> you got Please. the one left to go after the spray! You can do this, Typhoon! Top 10! Robin, switch sides now! This is going to be all in the breaking sound of the final corner. Oh, please! Please, Robin, I have faith in you for 10th place! Oh, Typhoon goes very wide! Come on, Robin! Come on! Who has the exit speed? Come on! Come on, Robin! Come, Come on! on! Typhoon! Come on, Robin! War it! Oh! oh my god! Oh, <laughs> door to oh. door! Typhoon got it! Oh, but look at the time, how close it was! Oh, god! 41,000! <laughs> Robin! Robin, what are you talking about? You have the straight line speed! And then we got it between Jubert and Sergio, and same way what battle! For for a 13th! Come on! Come on, Sergio! No, oh, Sergio! 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 It will be the Beamer World Battle! Oh! I haven't spoken that loud in a while. No, 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 no. No, he finished it in the 11th. Yes, Robin just finished there. He finished it in the 11th. 
I didn't switch you to the battle that was going on. Sorry, but that was too yeah. good of a battle to let go. Well, that's a great battle to round off the final lap, unfortunate for Robin to miss out on the top 10 finish. Oh, Robin, I had so much faith. The good news for Robin is that because, uh, or sorry, he won't, we have 19 people with us, uh, so I I don't know if we're going to have 9 or 10 uh, for the reverse grade, as it's only the top 50%, but that right, if it's 10, that's going to be hard. Race, going down the last race while we wait, Google Smurf was your race winner here at the first race of the night. Closely followed by Crow in second, send it in third, rounding off the podium as her good friend Scotty informed you whilst me and her sale were getting too excited. God Hydra in fourth, Ren in fifth, Aaron McGrath in sixth, Banana in a surprise in seventh. Very good for Banana. Giraffe in eighth, Phoenix in ninth, a Typhoon in tenth, Robin just missing out on the top ten in eleventh. AL Ghost on their first outing with this group. A very impressive 12th. Juba in 13th. Sergio in 14th. Root Turtle in 15th. Agile Apollo in 16th. Infernus in 17th. And Galaxy She rounds off the pack in 18th with only one DNF of GGA Unix. That was a very good race. <laughs> was indeed those nicely battles come all the way down to the f final corners of the final lap with these longer races uh, it can always maybe get a little bit spread out but everyone kept fighting right until the end especially robin who unfortunately just robin is saying i jinxed myself saying i was getting top 10 robin you almost did uh, F is today. Anyway, back to NASCAR. I recommend watching it just for the American commercials and for the golden combination that is Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer in the commentary booth. F is, you know there's only one famous duo and that is the psych psychopathic Brit and the peanut munching Norwegian. You know, we just, we need to be known. Once we're known, we'll be. <laughs> Rob Robin coming in saying, shouldn't have taken so much curve, two wheel like crazy, went way too wide and had to pull the handbrake to get it back on track. Robin, are you sure it had nothing to do with you typing in chat whilst going side by side with someone? Uh, Genji says, time for me to come last because of the vet's sponge breaks in the wet. Uh, King replying, Metal, I was cheering on Robin, I dropped popcorn. <laughs> F is saying, I'm sorry, who are you two again? F is getting the bin. F is getting the bin. <laughs> technically, in the words of Rue, we are a trio today. So, it's technically, who are you three? Hmm. Okay, F is, I get that amount of Chrome mocking me a lot. Also, don't forget, for those of you who are new here, you can spend channel points, make us say ridiculous things, replace words that we can and can't say, and even pull up a swearing brand for five minutes. So be inventive and interact with us. We like interacting with chat. Robin replying, Metal, you know I can't battle serious enough not to type in chat. Yeah, but Robin, when you are battling for 10th place, I expect you at least try and aim for 10th place without typing in chat. Pooper, we all know the answer. Me. Crow redeemed a word to say. Uh, penilingus. Okay. Yeah, Hooper, in terms of skill, I'm worse. Because Robin can flick through the air and somehow still come out. Ahead. <laughs> uh, in fairness, redeem the word. Supercalifragilistic espialidocious. Haha, -ha, bitch. <laughs> I had a feeling you was with Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, have I shown you the Mary Poppins uh, power line thing? No. Uh, I'm going to send you something very quickly. <laughs> and I advise you look at it on your phone 
or something else that isn't this screen. Oh no. I hope this is the right one. Well, it's bloody soggy oh. today, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah, that's the right one. Right, as I say, it's coming to you thick and fast. You're a weird little dude, I swear. But where did it end? Uh, oh, there we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Uh, Crow says replace wet with soggy. Ew. Jubit says onomatopoeia. Hooper. So, I don't know if you saw what I sent to the Twitter chat, Metal, but my wallet is dead tomorrow. Oh, God. Did you buy a waifu thing? Gonna have to go to chat just to see. No, it's even worse. He bought a anime expansion pack. <laughs> Sorry. I take it you just watched what I sent. <laughs> yes. Ah. <sighs> Mind you, whilst I'm here, I might as well message it to Scotty for him to enjoy in his own personal time. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no, okay, for me, it's not bad, okay? You'll giggle. I say I certainly found it funny, but mind you, he's just as dark and twisted as I am, so... Uh, Juba says, also... what I heard anime? Uh, Crow says, if you fail, I will spank you. Uh... I don't know how to take that. Because part of me goes, ooh, and the other part goes, oh yeah, it's a uh, crow. So, eh. <laughs> if he's saying, who, uh, anime expansion hurt? At some point, you need to try a hyper dimension Neptunia or Persona. Oh, God. Robert says, I could shorten the gears on my Audi. Currently, I'm not using sick gear. Just topping out in fifth last turn. Uh, in fairness, I'm not saying that Welsh town that can get in the bin. Crow says, <laughs> oh, yeah. Dad jokes. <laughs> oh, God. Haseo, launch away with the dad jokes while we wait because. But what time is uh... it? Metal, what time is it? Yes. I don't know what time is it. It keeps changing. Oh god! Oh god! I got, I got you! I got you! Oh god! You said exactly what I wanted you to say. I swear, chat doesn't know what this is me, but Haseo, if you don't stop, I will hand you that umbrella and, well, you can experience the Mary Poppin power line. <laughs> Crow says, I want a daddy. Snooty be my sugar daddy. Do it. <laughs> oh, God. Just the, the sight of that happening. Oh, <laughs> if, if it's <laughs> that I even at him. <laughs> so here's another <laughs> joke, though. I thought oh. about going on an all almond diet. But that's just nuts. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to oh, dad's good. <laughs> Scotty, welcome to dad joke session. <laughs> well, Doug Crow saying Hooper, I could be your daddy and Hooper instantly. No! Oh, uh, uh, you know we can't say that word. 
I really yeah. wish I'd insert an emote for you right now, Hazu. <laughs> what is it? The middle finger emote? <laughs> <laughs> no, you you will get this, Hazu will. But Hazu, boo to you. Is it the boo from <laughs> that specific? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, FS saying I knew exactly what the emoji you were boy. referring to. <laughs> FS saying that he already has a waifu and her name is Matoy. Well, Matoy is not best girl. Uh, he's thanking him for it. And Juba is crying in the corner as usual. Crow is saying, boat, boat, boat. All right, Juba. Keep it up on the server. Better than homophobia. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think we're having too much. <laughs> oh, in between uh, waiting in lobby, it's shenanigans. That sounds like you are having a stroke while sailing. <laughs> And Crow just went, that. <laughs> uh, Genji, it's you, so not that far back. So we're seconds away from the start of race two. Uh, Scotty, again, if you turn me up, I highly advise you turn me down again, because I get quite loud on the start. I've heard. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> And it's the lights out and away we go here for the race to it, Sebring, second race of the night and Phoenix gets a lightning start thanks to the four wheel drive, but oh lord the cluster of cars, poor Giraffe is getting swamped in third place right now. Version for you metal, will you have to keep yourself under mode. control and not crash out? That, I, I would say a big fat no for that. GGA Unix is back and he's overtaking Infernus for 17th right off the bat. Currently we have uh, Google Smurf looking to the outside of Sender into turn 7. Sender nearly clipping the back bumper of Crow, uh, but Google Smurf holds around the outside, nearly gets the drive off, but Slips a little bit on the grass, giving Send it the run initially, but the Mustang struggling with straight line speed. He'll just about keep it Ooh, on the inside. Red almost going into the back of Banana, which almost forced Banana into the back of Giraffe. But the problem is, Crow is trying to find a way past Ren. And Fool is actually running away in the Aldi with McCratch not too far behind. And Giraffe is more or less being a third map parker and making it difficult to catch the two leaders in the rain. Oh. Crow clicked the rear of Ren then almost having disaster on the first lap. Now the problem is Ren is now holding up Crow who's about to be under attack by Sendit and Google. So Crow needs to get past Ren and get past them now. Well, Google's Everett, got a good I'm... run out of turn 16 on Send It. After going side by side for a couple of corners, he might finally get this move done. Oh, Banana's going side by side with Giraffe for third place. Send It's got himself back up the inside of Google as Crew gets up the inside of Ren. And who's that? That's Giraffe, is in the tire wall on the outside for the final corner. It seems like only one person right was taken out of that, but don't think we're going to see a restart in the first lap. Robin in chat saying death. Okay. Rogue sent it down the inside of Crow into turn one, but ran a bit wide on the exit. Now Google's trying to get the power of them. Ren is being a pain in everyone's ass right here. 
As well, McGrath is currently taking the lead almost from Phoenix. But Phoenix gets the launch of exit of the corner and says to McGrath, No, my first! <laughs> Why does comes... everything you say it sounds like a North troll just about to smack me with a sledgehammer? <laughs> <laughs> Senate's got, tried to make two dives on uh, Kronai, but neither of them have uh, paired off just yet. Uh, meanwhile, great. Giggle's all over the rear bumper of Ren. He's looking for a move in to turn 10. Ren covering the inside. Oh, and McGrath. Up on the outside. McGrath went too far on the brakes and losing his position. But first, back to Phoenix. Hold on a sec, Crow's just gone right around the outside of Google through turn 11 and has made the move stick into turns 12 and 13. What a Crow move as Google's got held up. Crow's performing like a champ here, but the problem is Ren is still not moving out of the way. He's holding up these three drivers so badly. And now they're fighting heavily amongst themselves. And Banana was saying, I'm predicting the tent, but Banana, you're still fighting up a turd! Keep yourself together! Have faith! If it's having the same boat, I don't have it yet because, well, it's a bit overpriced for my taste. Agreed. Yeah, I'm not even looked to buy it yet, like. I'm not the even looked at. With that, the problem I have with that pack is either half the price because then it'll be worth that price, or give me more content with that price tag. Like a story or like extra missions, something. And meanwhile, Banana's going for a move up the inside of Iron into turn one, as Google Smurfs now trying to fend off Sandit, as all three of them are still stuck behind Ren. Ren is not moving that Bavarian ass of theirs as Banana makes the move stick up to second place now. McGrath trying to catch back up, but Crow is the leader of the hungry pack of Crow, Google, and Send It. All three of them looking to Guys, take the annoying. Don't we have all five cars now, more or less, in top seven? Um, I believe. We do. Whoa, and Crow is managing to slip past Ren. As Aaron McGrath made a big mistake in that breaking zone, dropping all the way down from. I think third Crow to saw the opportunity and just, I'm gonna send it. Yeah, Aaron got caught up uh, on the outside of the hairpin there and fallen back uh, behind all three of them, or all four of them, I should say. Ren and is me. now holding up Google, and this is exactly what Crow needs. Although Ren does a dive bomb on the inside of Crow. And Google oh, goes, and it's rewind! I'm telling you now, someone better save this replay. This will make for good uh, something. Don't you agree, um, Scully? Here comes Send It looking at the rear of Crow, but Crow going on the inside of Ren. And Ren seems like uh, Gulga's walking away. Send It wants to make a move. Looking for and an undercut switchback. Oh, oh here goes Ren trying to go for inside, but there still was a Send It he was not expecting. Ren is drifting through the corner as and Send, send it goes dives for the pit. into the pit. I think that's a very pit. wise decision. Even though he'll come out in traffic once again like the previous race, this group is battling so much, they're probably losing a second, maybe two seconds a lap. Sometimes battling all the time is not a good idea when it's like this many battling at once. As Banana is up in first? Yes, Banana is up in first! Oh, hold that! Missed the breaking sound from the looks of it as Google's right on her bumper! And here comes GTA Unix who did DNF last round, currently up in sixth place! 
Yeah, I currently got Iron chasing them down as they've gone in deep into the herp and just about got the car stopped. This but Iron applying the pressure. Pack racing. Phoenix holding on to first place by a shoestring as Banana and Google are all packing in behind him with Crow so close to the top three now. And Ren is actually not far behind. Where was this pace from Ren last race? He messed up his uh, qualifying. He didn't get a clean lap in. He had a 14-2, which would have been fifth on the grid, uh, but was dirty. So he started down uh, at right the back, which really would have hampered him with uh, how chaotic the midfield is. Speaking of the midfield, everyone's just sort of uh, gapped out. There's uh, one or two seconds between everyone, um, apart from Infernus, who's just been passed by Send It, who's trying to make this undercut work once again. It didn't really work in the first race, but in the second race, with the chaoticness at the front with the reverse grid, he's got much a much better chance this time round. Oh! Google is being held up by Banana and Phoenix, meaning Crow. Can tuck right in. Google. There goes Phoenix Crow dives in into the repair. pits. But this has allowed Crow to catch right up to Google. This is exactly what Crow needs. And considering that the prediction from Banana was going down to 10, I don't think that prediction is correct right now that they're up in the lead and actually holding back the leaders. Because when it gets dry again. Then it's going to be interesting. Oh. Crow it's is not... under pressure from Ren now. Uh, meanwhile, Sergio and Galaxy are having a bit of a battle. And they were going side by side through the final corner. Uh, but Galaxy uh, just holding up uh, Sergio for now. Oh, Banana's under pressure! As it's Google, Ren and Crow going three deep into the corner. As Google's now side by side with Banana and Ren side by side with Crow. They're going two by two. We are double stacking here. Who will be victorious in this dive? And here Google comes Unit joining in and Ray. Oh, Crow is sliding all over the place. And here comes Unix. And here comes Ren for the lead! This is a five-way battle for first place! Oh, and Crow gets shoved out by Banana as Unix slides into third place! This looks like it's allowing McGrath to come back and join the fray as well, giving it a six-way battle for the lead! Oh my freaking god! And they've not let up since corner one. This has been going on since lap one. This is some of the best driving we've ever seen on these streams by all of these drivers. Meanwhile, this let's not forget Sander, who's already made his pit stop. He's had a little twitch as he's just passed, uh, passed Sergio uh, for 14th. But he's making his way through the field now. And there's uh, a lot of people going into the pits to split Google out Smurf the and GGA Unix diving into the pits and breaking up this five-way battle, reducing it to a three-way for the moment. Robert in chat saying would someone race me on board. I mean, if only you, if you were in first place, this would make it so interesting. Send it's coming down the start finish straight and he's jumped both uh, Google and uh, Ren, I believe, who also pitted. No, Ren's still in the lead. It's Unit. Yes. Ren is still Unix, in the lead. Sorry. Also Unix, And meanwhile, he's also just uh, made a move on Galaxy, so he's put a car between himself and the other leaders for but, now. I think that. Judging by this battle, it seems that Sen will come out of Ren, Banan, and Crow as well. 
Gren is looking amazingly strong here with Banana and Crow in hot pursuit. As Banana is going side by side with Ren, but can't get the move to stick as Crow goes on the inside. Again, it plows into the back of Ren and Nun loses all the time. They just made up in that amazingly brave dive, which allows Aaron McGrath to slowly enter the fray. It really does seem like this time, Send It going for the undercut will pay off. And the moment he's set to gain the lead, and with the front lot still fighting it out, his chances are only growing ever stronger. That depends is, will Guru Smurf let him walk away, or is Guru Smurf going to be like, oh, no, Ren you come back the here! Grass. Ren clips the grass, slowing them down to Banana and Crow. Aaron McGrath is falling a bit behind. Banana's looking for the overtake with the straight line speed of the Corvette. Ren, oh, getting sandwiched between Banana and the wall. If Crow does this right, he can make up two places in one and there corner. There goes Crow and Ren. Oh, no. No, Crow no. wasn't thinking about it, but he decided, no, I'm not going into the pit yet. Crow going for the fake out. Crew probably going for the tactic of whatever you do, I'll do the opposite. Robin is up to fourth place! Wait, what? Robin is in fourth place! Oh my bloody arms. Oh my god, I say it said bloody. It's gonna be the end of the world. He swore! <laughs> I've corrupted him! Hooray! <laughs> What's wrong with bloody? <laughs> Crow is looking on the rear of Banana here as Banana is slowly getting slower and slower. And there's my grad joining up as well after all, all of that battle. The question is where is Ren after a pit stop, uh, Scotty? Uh, he came out behind the uh, Arnett leaders, uh, Send It and Google Smurf, who've just uh, got upon this battle. Oh! And Google Smurf is up the side of Send It, who's going three wide with uh, Al Ghost as uh, Phoenix just passed them. But it's getting chaotic here for the net race leaders who've made their pit stop. Send It going for a bit of an audacious dive uh, up the inside of Ghost. Trying to go around there, oh! so he's, tied. he's in the wall! Send it's been taken out from the net race lead. Google Smart and Ren have got through cleanly, but that's disastrous for Send it, who was set to take the race lead after all the pit stops had played out. I by send it up. Damage. Uh, I'm just uh, checking uh, now. No, no. See, no, he has not got damage. Yeah, no damage for him. Heartbreak for the American, though. Looking so strong all race, and then. And there goes Crow into the pits. But th I will see. This will see now where Crow is spat out. It's not over for Sandit though, he's only about four seconds behind the power of Google and Ren. But that can be uh, a Hydra, major difference. Hydra and Robin are in the pits with Crow. Crow Crow's is out now, and in. here goes Phoenix. So Phoenix will take the lead. Oh, there goes Ren and Google and Unix. So he lo just looks at the hair comes tended as well. Crow says send it isn't happy. Oof. Mm -hmm. Crow's come out for the pits just behind uh, Ren by head of send it. Who's that off? It's oh, Unix. 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 Our corner is very slippery in these conditions. You break and the car just continues to go forward. Yeah, I should say we started this race off with uh, moderate rain. At this stage, it's uh, transitioned to a light rain, but the track is still going to be about as wet as it is for moderate rain. It's going to take a little bit of time to dry up, and but probably won't dry up much at all with the f fact it's still raining. And uh, somehow, but... Banana is 
still leading this race. They still have a pit stop, bear in mind. But Aaron McGrath is trying to chase them down. The good thing for them, as uh, Crow gets a cutback on uh, Ren going into turn 10. So he's made that position up a, a, a much easier than he did before the pit stops. Uh, but Ren's not done yet. He's looking to see if he can make a move back past. Uh, but as I said with uh, Genji, uh, she's now uh, out of front, got a bit cleaner. Uh, so she'll be looking to extend uh, until the pit window closes to see if uh, she can overcut any of those that pitted earlier and got caught up in the traffic. Or just try to get some clean air to, to not be in any traffic. Good night, Ephes, thank you for joining us. Alright, David, you have a good sleep. The sun is starting to come out. The rain is backing off. However, the track, as Scotty said, is still far from dry. Yeah, we're now into a summer drizzle, which is the lightest rain setting you can have on the game. It pretty much won't make the track any wet if it's dry, but if the track is wet, it'll just make that water linger around a bit longer. Let's see if there's any closeness happening on track. There is between Phoenix Robin and, and Google Smurf for third place. Robin and Typhoon are also back at it again through the final corner. Uh, Typhoon oh leading God, Robin for 11th. Google's been held up by Phoenix, which is allowing Crow to fly in like a Phoenix from hell. Um, catching up to Google with very, very big gains through each corner. Let's see if Google will be brave on the brakes here. Google being very brave on the brakes, but has to back out of that because Phoenix was going too deep into that corner. And uh, meanwhile, Ghost and Galaxy are going side by side through turns one and two. Galaxy has the inside, but it's just slightly tapped Ghost onto the grass going into turn two. And has sent them wide. They've lost a few positions uh, to one of them being to Sergio. Uh, but uh, Huber is in the wall and dropping down numerous positions uh, towards the back of the field. Heartbreak. Google is still trying to find a way past Phoenix for that final podium position. Meanwhile, after having contact earlier in the race, Unix and Send are bumper to bumper as they come into the final sector of the track. Unix and Drugal is still banning out as they're going to do big straight in the back section. They really are. As they come uh, down the back straight, Send it uh, bobbling over the exit curb. Unix has a bit of a run on the Mustang, looking to the inside of the final corner. Aaron McGrath is all over the rear of Banana as neither of them have pitted yet. They have to pit within the next three laps. So whatever happens, happens as Banana is looking a bit slidey as she slowly enters the second sector of this track with Aragath in very close pursuit. Banana going deep, looking composed. And Karana is right in the bumper of Phoenix. Trying to look at the inside there. It's not getting But now done. Phoenix is holding up Crow. And it's only allowing Google to run away. I think these three might be the three podium spot holders. Depending on where Banana and McGrath is coming out from the pits. I think Banana might be spat out round about 7th place. It's going to be questionable depending on uh, 
when they do paint and this is gonna be an interesting well, pit stop. I will stay with Banana and Aaron McGrath as Scotty, as you can see, is on AL Ghost and Haseo. I'm currently watching Google. I don't know who is on it. I don't know who is on at the moment. Google, apparently. There we go. It was just a nose cam for me. I just saw road. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I believe we might have a DNF here. No, we don't know. Uh, God Hydra has uh, DNF'd from this oh, race. Oh, no. Oh, no. F in chat for God Hydra. Oh my God! This is bits. Who was in the pits? Who was in the pits? Aaron McGrath. Which means Banana is the only one in the top pack who has not pitted yet. They have got a pit within two laps. It seems like oh. Bananas. Meanwhile, Russell Aaron B. comes out uh, with Senda and Unix battling. Senda going up the inside of Unix into turn one. He'll have the inside for turn two, but Unix not wanting to give this up, seeing if they can hold it round outside, but they have to slot in behind. Send it makes the move on Unix. Born in Furnace overtakes Schubert for 16th place as poor God Hydra DNS from this race. Robin in chat saying my battle buddy is pulling away. Well, stop typing in chat and go and chase him. I agree. Chase him. Don't write in chat. Actually, where is Robin? I think he's Robin in, is in 11th place again. Uh, meanwhile, Hubert and Apollo are going side by side through turn one. Uh, Hubert's uh, got the move into turn two as a, as sorry, yeah, sorry, as Infernus, battle with Infernus, sorry. Uh, Infernus just getting onto the grass, going into turn two, uh, drops about a second uh, back. Robin closing in on Typhoon. We'll see if anything can be made of this. Oh god, it's Robin and Typhoon again. For 10th place. Pro is trying to gain on Phoenix, but not really meant to close the gap. Right, here comes Banana. Banana not pitting, they have to pit next lap. They have the pit on the lap they currently are on. That's, that's the pit window closing. Yeah. Stretching it all the way to the edge of the pit window. Spending as many laps as they can in the cleaner out of front. While the rest of the net leaders uh, sort of scramble amongst themselves. Crows trying to catch up to Phoenix. Looking for that Little podium position gain. Uh, meanwhile, Sinindit's trying to get back past uh, Unix, uh, who they collided with earlier on in the race. Uh, it was, Both at uh, different Ghost lines who, through the final corner. It was Al Ghost who caused the incident with the Sinindit spinning out. Phoenix going for a confident break zone with Crow looking for a little dive to try and eke out distance to that Audi. But Phoenix has been holding on ever since the first lap though. Phoenix has been holding on. It's quite incredible to see. Robert says deja vu in chat. Stop typing in chat you madman.
Banana and I coming into the final corner about to make their pit stop as they hug the apex at the exit of the final corner entering the pit lane now with a 17 second gap to Google which is rapidly closing Banana in the there's pits right really, this there will, comes Google we and they're see. past where they get what about Pro and Phoenix? I'm still under the bus. Oh, going up the inside of Phoenix as they pass uh, Banana in the pit lane. What a long oh, pit lane. Just in front of Unix. I wasn't far, far off fifth place. This is going to be a ma manic uh, final few corn laps. Trying to just gain that final position. And Crow is up to second. Crow is up to second. Google is far up the road ahead of Crow, but all Crow has to do is drive it home. Got just over a lap and a half left to go in this final race of the night. Robin backs us in me in chat saying, no, I won't stop. Robin, you will stop and catch Typhoon. While the back half of the field is sort of spread out a bit, in the top 10, it's still all to fight for as Unix is trying to chase down Banana. He's got a bit of a slide on through turn 11. Banana just holding on for now, but can they hold on to P5 for the f remaining lap and a half? Crow is being chased down by Phoenix. Phoenix is not letting this second place go without a fight. Unix is trying to get a pass on Banana for that fifth position. And Unix we're Sandit. How Sandit looking? Uh, Sandit <laughs> He's right on the front of Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix looking is... to the outside of the final corner. Phoenix He's went got halfway wide. alongside. But Unix just getting the Send better it. drive out the corner. Send it is trying their best to eke away past. Let's see if they lunge. They're, They're going for the lunge. Keeping it tight. And send it, making it look easy as they. Oh, well, they don't do. Send it cuts off the switchback from Unix. Send it now, looking at Banana. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I believe we might have had another DNF. Oh, what? Google Crow? Google DNF! What? Which means Google Crow DNF. is the leader? Crow is the leader with literally two thirds of a lap to go! What the? Can we get the Phoenix has missed his breaking point into the hairpin and has fallen a bit back from Send It. Google Smurf, he left it on the last lap and he was in the lead! Oh, chat, can we get a big F for Google? That sucks! That well, is that, so unfortunate. Well, that means Crow is on form for a win here! What is happening tonight? Robin in chat typing F. Oh my god, Robin, stop typing and driving! Wait a minute, that means Ren's up to third! Exactly. And Banana oh in fourth. What is happening? What is happening? Snooty says, I don't have any big Fs on hand. Sorry. Are you sorry, those snoot tickers? I don't think you are. Crow has got the final corner. 
I can't believe this. This is a Cinderella story come true. Fanata's gone for the cutback on Ren to get the final podium position. She's made it work. And, and then she's ended. grabbed the podium on the final corner. FTC Crow is your race winner. Phoenix is second and Banana in an amazing third place. I don't know what she was on about saying, oh, I'm going to come 10th. <laughs> Bren in fourth, just missing out. Seventh in fifth. Unix when you do fun, sixth. I'm gonna go back to Typhoon graphics, and Robin. Seven. They're graphics still eight, battling, typhoon. but Robin's nowhere close this time around. Oh come on, Robin! <laughs> typhoon ignite. <laughs> <laughs> typhoon going with a big in-your-face line well, that of Robin. Does mean that does mean we Google DNF and that means Robin actually is in the same time just yet. Ghost is in the slipstream of Sergio thinking about moving to the final corner, but decides against it. Sergio just holding on the apex of the final corner to bring home P12. Galaxy finish up in a strong 11th, Sergio in 12th, Ghost in 13th, Juba out to come home in 14th place yes uh, it's on uh, the small screen it will be up in the right hand corner in furnace in 16th root turtle it's not clear Finished yet but it will be in the vod send it so you just have to look in the small uh, camera on the right hand yes. corner it is in the vod what uh, in the? Um, watch the scream! <laughs> well done, Crow! You broke the game. <laughs> <laughs> Crow winning has broken the game. Crow, what are you doing to my Mustang? Uh, he's face fucking my Porsche right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? Crow winning broke the game. That is why Crow can't win. <laughs> and all he says, you're welcome. I, I want to also say massive shout out to Phoenix Max for getting P2. I did not see that coming at all. When I seen he was in uh, third uh, when um, uh, Genji was pitting, I thought, oh, he's still going to make a pit stop, but... That's a really good finish from him to okay. get second place. Okay, Banana, you're not allowed to fucking complain when you come in top three. Don't you remember the Dakar when you were complaining that you were winning? Shut up! You got third. Crow says, this is what happens when the pigeon wins. Yes, it is. You fucked the game. Oh, good on my screen now. Uh, Banana's <laughs> car is now Banana? on the top of <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, Galaxy says, heck, I didn't crash oh. in a race for once. That is Sorry true. Well and done. <laughs> I think on that note, and bombshell, <laughs> and take a slide to say this is will be it for tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I say, when can the wonderful guys and girls catch us or anyone on the FTC network? Well, hopefully there will yes. might be another stream on Thursday by Phil and Dave with a fourth two graphic. Oh, driver of the oh. day, Scotty, my love. I've got to give it to Crow. I have got to give it yeah. to Crow. He he was amazingly fast today. Like I I don't know who I won't give it to. There's a lot of great battling there at the front pack. Yeah, but that I feel like I have to part... agree with Crow due to the fact of the first race plus the second, how he was constantly in in battles that and coming it's out a on top. Super strong. It's a super strong performance, especially on the quite of a low lull Crow has been going through recently with bad car choices. I sort of want to say just give the uh, driver of the day to the top four in Google. They were all amazing, but uh, I'm going to be a little bit different. Pick one person out. I'm going to give it to Max Phoenix. P2, he's someone that's usually towards mid-pack or the back end of the grid. 
But what a phenomenal result for him. Well done, Tim. He gets uh, my vote uh, for today. Well, <laughs> there you have it, folks. There's round one of the GT Speed World Challenge. I'm going to admit, I thought this sounded terrible on paper. And it turns out it's some of the best racing we've seen yet on FTC. So I will gladly eat humble pie with a spoon. I'm oh. very glad to be on this side of the <laughs> microphone because I would be bricking it in some of those battles, especially in the weather we had today. But considering that's the end of the stream, I'm going to leave it to my good buddy, Mr. Haseo, to send you all off into a wonderful sleepy good night. So you'll see us, or the stream will more us back on Thursday, hopefully. Otherwise, we will be back on Friday with the second race of the Ferrari Talents through the years, we'll be raising the F355 Berlinetta. And I'm a good coast, Haseo, my good coast, Metal Gage, and our new coast as well, Scotty, who was also helping with the secondary camera today. We love you, Scotty. <laughs> so Thank we'll you catch for you next me. time. While Scotty will be racing most likely on Friday, I you'll see indeed. you again next week on Tuesday, and good night. Good night.